If you're familiar with the Forstner name of bracelets, you're probably familiar with them from their association with the Omega Speedmaster. Forstner were most famous for being the metal mesh bracelets or mesh style bracelet that was included on some of the NASA Speedmasters that the astronauts wore. When we think of early NASA astronauts when they used the Speedmasters they used a velcro band on those but obviously the velcro would fray so they needed another option and that option was the Forstner Comfit bracelet. If you've seen this you'll know exactly what they are and if you've not seen one before they do look a little bit quirky until you understand the history. They are essentially, I think of them as almost a metal NATO strap, but Forstner don't just make those Comfit bracelets. They are still in business. They have a whole range and their range has expanded over the last couple of years as well. They have very kindly sent me in two bracelets for us to look at today. The first is a 22 millimeter bullet bracelet, they call it. And then we have one of the Comfit lines, but it's not the mesh one. It's one they call the thin as a dime bracelet. Let's start with the bullet bracelet. I asked to review this one because I was intrigued at whether it would look like a Breitling bracelet and whether this would be a good option for Breitling owners that perhaps didn't get the Breitling bullet bracelet with their watches. And overall, I think they've done a very good job of this. Now it is coming in at $155. So let's go over some of the pros and the cons of this bracelet to see whether it might be right for you. First thing you notice on this bracelet is the high polishing of the sides and the way that the side concave in at the ends, they bevel in so it's not straight like perhaps the Br Breitling bullet bracelet is. It shapes in and it gives the whole bracelet visually a much more slender appearance. So we have a 22 mil at the end here and this is a straight end version. They do have fitted end links for Omegas and a few other watches but this is the straight end version. Now I'm going to have to apologize here because the only watch that I had that was 22 millimeters to try this on was a Christopher Ward 1000 meter diver. Completely overwhelmed this bracelet but at the moment that was the only watch that I had that was 22 millimeters but obviously I think this would look a lot better on a thinner watch. It clearly looks awesome in the photos on the Omega Seamaster 300s and then also it it tapers, all of them taper no matter what size you get, all of them taper from uh, 22 in this case down to 16 and that is probably most aggressively shown here on the 22 mil which is the largest that they do. So the taper is quite severe but that means it takes a lot of bulk out of the bracelet. So perhaps if you have a 22 millimeter watch where the bracelet overpowers it then this would be a great option for you. It's easy to adjust with screw links but one of the things I did notice a little bit of a con of this is because of the way that the sides slope in also they've polished the sides a little bit more after they've put the screws in so that means the end of the screws also are sloped on one side so when you screw them back in you ha do have to be careful if you go the corresponding way the opposite way to the taper you can feel it a little bit on your finger so I just had to when I screwed one in I just had to screw it out a little bit but just something to note there's also seven points of micro adjust on the clasp I don't think I've ever seen another watch that had seven points of micro adjustment and even though it looks like it might be quite heavy there is still a lightness to the links it does feel quite light it doesn't feel like one of the Breitling bracelets that does have a lot of heft to it the clasp on here is awesome there is no micro adjust unfortunately on the fly micro adjust on the clasp but it is very nicely milled they've done an excellent job of the polishing and the brushing on these and then we have the the logo on there as well so overall I think if you want wanted a taper and you're fine with the the way that the 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 taper is quite aggressive from 22 to 16 or if you want to take some bulk out of a 22 millimeter watch this might be a, a good option for you but let me know what you think in the comment section down below next up we have the thin as a dime bracelet this is a bracelet that you will if you, unless you've seen one of these in person there is nothing that i have seen that compares to the way that this bracelet works i think of it almost as a metal 
NATO strap or a metal ribbon. It behaves almost like a fabric instead of a, a metal bracelet. Looking at it, you might think that it's one of those stretchy bracelets like I have here on this Seiko, but this is not stretchy. It does not at all change shape when you pull on it from either side. And if we turn it over to the other side, you'll see why. There's a woven mesh, metal mesh on the inside, and then we have these metal pieces that are applied to the outside to give that very high polished feel to it. How this works is there is a, a, a catch at the end. This has a little lever that you pull up with your finger. Admittedly, this will be a lot more difficult if you don't have longer nails or if, you, if you're someone that it keeps your nails very short because you do have to get a nail in there. Uh, this actually confused me at the start because what I thought you did was just push it up and it released. It looks like it has a grip where you would just push your thumb and then push it forwards, but it doesn't. You actually have to get your nail underneath it to, you even have to put your nail under it to push it back. It won't, you won't be able to just push it on the bar and have it fasten like that. Even to fasten it, you have to lift that little lever up as well. If you've not got long nails, or you have a, an issue with dexterity of your fingers, that could be a problem. But one of the things that is a massive advantage of this bracelet is it's infinitely adjustable. Whatever your wrist size is, it will adjust to that. Although my wrist is 7.2, and as you can see here, I've got it almost all the way to the end. So it will certainly go larger, but I'm not sure if it would go shorter either. Although they do say on their website that this will fit a six inch wrist, but my wrist is 7.2 and as you can see I've got it all the way to the end here. Obviously that will change depending on what watch you've got. It's such an interesting design this that I, it took me a while to get used to it. Also the end pieces here, the strap itself is obviously closer to an 18 mil I would say but the end pieces are spring loaded so it will adjust probably from 18 up to 20 so this would probably fit 19 as well because this end piece is spring loaded. Because I put this on a 20 mil and the strap itself is more like a 80 mil visually it takes some time getting used to it it looks almost as if the bracelet is the wrong size for the watch but when you realize that that's the style that's forcing the style and that's what the the bracelets look like that were included on the speed masters then you can sort of understand that look so that would be totally down to personal preference it is a very high polished bracelet as well so it probably would be best to go on maybe a dress watch. Here you can see I've put it on a Jack Mason watch that is highly polished on the sides, but perhaps on a sports watch or a dress watch, this would look quite good. The big pro here is it's infinitely adjustable. It's extremely solid. It doesn't flex. It doesn't stretch. It feels solid in the hand. There is a little bit of weight to it. And also if you have a watch that has an odd lug size, like 19 or perhaps between 19 and 20, then this will fit because of the compression system. I'm not sure if this this pushing on the lugs if you had a 19 mil watch whether that would cause any scratching or whether it would eat away at the side of the lugs I'm not quite sure on that certainly fit my 20 millimeter and it did move freely really interesting two straps from Forstner here let me know in the comment section down below what you think I know quite a few Speedmaster collectors that have the original Forstner strap and that does have a completely different look to this one that does have a little bit of flex and it certainly articulates sideways which this this one doesn't. They do do some other bracelets that do flex. They even have a riveted style bracelet that is spring loaded as well. So you, that will actually flex. Forstner is all about br making bracelets, but making them very comfortable. And both of these are extremely comfortable. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And I'll see you next time on Casual Watch Reviews.